A lot of strollers have this plastic uh, peephole window on their canopies and a lot of times they can get holes uh, perhaps because the plastic has gotten dry and cracked or in this case it uh, was just an accident. And so today we're going to show you how to replace this plastic peephole window. It's uh, actually quite easy to do. The first thing you're going to want to do is to cut yourself out a piece of transparent plastic. So in our case we tend to use rain covers because we have a lot of rain covers available. Uh, but uh, if you don't then you can go to like a um, uh, construction supply store you know when they're building houses and stuff and there you can get a lot of uh, plastic transparent sheeting you want to get something that's as pliable as possible that's still nice and thick uh, that's going to, to fit uh, and then you want to cut yourself out um, a piece of this plastic and it, can, it should be larger so that you have room to do the sewing um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, angled so in this case you can see that the window is angled but it can just be a square because afterwards you can cut off the extra so what you're going to want to do is to turn the canopy over because these are almost always sewed from the inside here you can see again that this is just a piece of plastic sheeting and the edge is just right here underneath um, if you're sewing by hand it's kind of nice to leave the canopy on the frame as uh, it helps to stretch out the window helps you to align everything but of course if you want to use a sewing machine then uh, if you can uh, you should remove the frame uh, as otherwise you won't be able to get the fabric underneath the needle on the sewing machine so you're going to start by then removing the old plastic and in this case uh, because it's not uh, like super stitched we're going to try to just pull it off uh, leaving the old stitches in place but uh, if there are very thick stitches then you might want to cut the stitches you can use a razor blade and just slice the stitches here and there and that'll help with the uh, pulling off of the plastic Okay, once you've removed all of the uh, plastic from the old window, you can take your new piece and you're going to want to stretch it over and pin it in place in preparation for sewing. So you're going to need some pins. And you're just going to want to start on one side, poke your pin through, and pull it up. The idea here is to pull it tightly across the space. And you're just going to work your way around the whole window, pulling it tightly, because you're going to want this to fit tightly over the hole. Okay, after you've pinned the window into place, you're going to want to start sewing it, and we're going to hand sew this, so it's going to take a little while. Now, we're not going to show that on camera, but we will show you the end result. Uh, you do want the pins to be applied such that they don't get in the way of the stitch. So uh, we're going to try to do the stitch in more or less the same uh, place and pattern that it is already applied from the previous window. So we've finished sewing the window now into place, and then we clip down the excess plastic around the edges. As you can see, it looks quite nice. From the other side, you can't even really tell that it has been re-sewed at all. So that's how you sew in a replacement window on the canopy of your stroller. We hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.